sweet distraction. I try to focus on anything besides Austin's lips as I scrub. I dissect the night, studying it harder than my own neuroanatomy notes, trying to think of all the things I need to remember. How he told me to open my mouth, how he tilted my head to kiss me deeper, how he arranged my body in his lap. I try to make a checklist of what to do next time. Next time. He's going to be back in my house tomorrow, and I'm not sure how to handle that. I didn't lie to Austin when he asked me why I chose him. I started with research on scoreyourscore.com. What I didn't tell him is that he personally stars in all my X-rated fantasies. That I think he's the sexiest man I've ever seen. Who wouldn't? He's six feet of chiseled, tan masculinity. He's the poster boy for sex appeal. When I saw him in only his boxers, I about lost my mind. I knew he was in shape, but I hadn't expected trim muscles to cover every inch of him. I'm hoping desire is stronger than panic, and the unbelievable attraction I have for him will get me out of my head. After tonight, I'm not so sure. Yeah, I want to jump Austin every second I see him, but he's so intimidating I can't seem to put a complete thought together. I can't deny there's something about him, something that makes me want to be with him, to keep him. I fall asleep wondering if I can go through with this. Can I spend the next month getting close to Austin Jacobs? Will I be able to walk away at the end of it? I have no doubt he will.